Hi everyone, it's Mr Proctor here and I'm going to read you a story today, tomorrow and basically every day, school days for the next few weeks just because I'm missing you so much and obviously some of you are going to be coming back to school today but we've had to change those plans just to make sure everybody stays safe as possible so I'm going to read a story every day and hopefully you can see this on our school website and enjoy it and today's book is something that my children usually call me. It's called Dustbin Dad and it's a book by Pete Bentley and Russell Ato. And yeah, we read the blurb first. Always read the blurb, it's a good part. Do you have a dad who is lying in wait to scoff all the bits that you've left on your plate? I know my girls do. While the dad in this story loves half-eaten pizza and cold soggy fries until one day he eats her, pan full of something that looks like fish chowder but is really a powerful pus pep up powder some pictures there as well so here we go my dad is a dustbin the one thing he hates is seeing us leave any food on our plates don't throw it out it's got flavour and taste just pass it to me, and it won't go to waste. So Dad gobbles up all our leftover food, even the bits that are squishy and chewed. Ooh. I do sometimes. Unfinished sandwiches, cold, soggy fries, unwanted broccoli, half-eaten pies, tomatoes with tooth marks, old scraps of fish, crunchy bits left on the side of the dish, clammy spaghetti, and whites of boiled eggs. Your father, says Mum, is a dustbin on legs. Now we have a cat named Amelia Scrimp. She's sweet, but quite frankly, a bit of a wimp. That mag, said the vet, needs some pus pep up powder. You mix it with water. It tastes like fish chowder. One droplet will perk up your pus cat like heck. It's a mere £60, we take cash, card or cheque. Later that day, on a snack-finding snoop, Dad saw a pot and thought, leftover soup. He tasted one spoonful, then two, and then three. The chowder's delicious, he chuckled with glee. He carried on slurping the stuff in the pot, till he guzzled it all. Yes, the whole blooming lot. He just drank a pint of the pus pep up powder and brew. Now what would happen? What would that brew do? Dad gave a big burp and declared, this is weird. I seem to be sprouting a gingery beard. Then he grasped at his hands, became glomping great paws, and his fingernails turned into needle sharp claws. He started to quiver, he started to quail, then out of the back of his pants popped a tail. That potion was potent, no doubt about that. My dad had turned into a gigantic cat. Dad sharpened his claws on the dining room door and knocked our best crockery onto the floor. Pounced on and swallowed a very large bug and totally trashed our new table and rug. He licked himself clean with a satisfied purr. Then... <coughs> <coughs> coughed up a large ball of fur. He trampled the blooms on our neighbour Miss Horn and I just can't describe what he left on her lawn. Oof. Miss Horn shouted shoo from her kitchen then Yikes out of the door Shot her puppy dog Sykes Mum tried to grab him but stumbled and tripped And in the kerfuffle her bottom got nipped Dad hissed and spat with his hackles right up Then fired up a tree from the fearsome wee pup Stop we all yelled but we watched in dismay as Dad reached the treetop and started to sway. Yap went the puppy, snap went the crunch. And bow! 
gosh, we all gasped as my dad went, meow. He fell in the rubbish. What a clattering din. Then we heard a loud burp coming out of the bin. Dad had changed back again quick as a flash and stood quite bewildered in yesterday's trash. What happened, he groaned. Am I dreaming or mad? Nogly, declared Mum, just a real dustbin dad. So never leave food where your father can grab it. He's likely to start up a scrap-eating habit. Then he too might suffer a similar fate. Unless you eat all of the food on your plate. That was Just Been Dad by Peter Bentley and Russell Ato. I'll read you another story tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>